Alright, I think I got one more video in me before I die of allergies. So, welcome to social. Yesterday we broke into the, I don't know why I keep saying days, because it's not really days, but last time we broke out into the World Wide Web from our horrible imprisonment. We are very small. I just noticed this, we are small. I guess that is the intent, sort of like, you know, young AI, like just learning things and stuff. I can't do this anymore. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to social. Give us a call if you want to create your own homeworld server. Have a fun visit and return soon. This is what VR is going to be like, everybody. You're gonna, there's going to be a horrible tech apocalypse, but it's okay because you can make your own GeoCities in 3D. Welcome to social. What do you mean, welcome social? The first company in the network to introduce virtual meeting areas and districts. That's right, Parker. We're a non-profit organization. We can help you setting up your own homeworld server, TM. Just give us a call. We're looking forward to welcoming you again, Mr. Wimbledon. I need to stop pressing A. I keep pressing A to, I said this before, but yeah. I like how it kind of looks. It's the same particles, but it kind of looks like a city of lights. Maybe that's just my imagination, but yeah, it looks like a starry night sky and like a sea, a sea of, you know, lights. Oh, this reminds me of, I went to Vegas for a convention, a company convention, like, uh, for uh, some enterprise relationship or resource planning software. And I had a really high up room, and uh, but it didn't face the main city. I pressed the death button again. <clears throat> shame cube. Um, I feel like a shame cube should fall on you when that happens. I would play a game where just there's just a button at any point in time for shame cube. But yeah, I had a great view, except it was of the desert and not of the city. I mean, there was parts of city. It wasn't a terrible view, but it's like, it's not the view you want. But I mean, it wasn't a vacation. I didn't pick my room. It was, as far as, you know, business trips go, it was, it was pretty decent. Hi, Barky. It's funny how fast software is outdated these days. Securitron was a big hit when it was first released. A personal security system that everyone could use for their home world. And it was open source, too, so you can modify it and build your own. With the introduction of proprietary security scans between the home worlds, it became redundant, though. I'm glad they're still keeping them around as a reminder that we had them in, a, as the, in the past. Ah, whoa! Hey. She gave you wrong information. I am not outdated. I am secure, Otron. I have feelings, too. People need me to care. Just forget what she said. Thank you. He's keeping, he's keeping it real. When keeping it real goes wrong, what is this? I guess it's like digital museum, which is kind of cool. But also it seems like a bad idea. Like, like imagine keeping viruses in a digital museum. It would be, things would happen. What is this? What is this? It's the freaking data scape. Hello, excuse me. This is an antivirus storm device, TM. Companies can use it to protect their data, sadly. There's a security flaw on some of the latest models. See, sometimes when it does that pause, I want to press A, but then if you do that, it skips. Just just give me an option to get all the text at once, please. Please. I should do an, I need I need to do articles about some of my UX nitpicks in games, because they're really important and a lot of like, I think a lot of it is just ignorance. Like I don't think people know it's a problem, and you know, I think if people realized it was you know, it'd be fairly simple to implement. Or more importantly, worth it to implement. We're here at Social. We make sure our temp technology is safe and reliable. We fix them quickly, but we also have to make sure that things like this never happen again. It'd be a shame if someone would be damaged by that kind of vulnerability. But the thing is, no nothing's ever that simple in, in tech stuff. Oh, these are stairs. I love how abstract and stupid the stairs are. Um, what was I saying? I was saying words. I forget them. I hate that. Um, oh, yeah, but things you would think are pretty simple. It's not always, like, crazy simple. Like, surprisingly, like, basic stuff can be a real pain in the butt. It all just depends on, whoa. 
Is that the evil, like, skinny thing? It all just depends on the situation, but, uh... They built this communication device for people that want to ask questions to Ionomia directly. Not all questions are answered, but people are curious. I don't... This seems like a bad place for me to be. Can intelligence at this scale really determine the future of Mandy without bad consequences? So far, Ionomia has a much broader knowledge than any human could ever achieve. I mean... Politics? Science... Oh, frick! See, that pause. It paused, and I thought it was done, and I need to skip. But I pressed A, and it skipped the whole text. I'm kind of scared, too, but the chance this might mean a completely different era for human excites me. I gotta say, I mentioned this a little bit before, but I'm not a big fan of the, oh no, is the AI is gonna kill our families. Mur, mur, mur. I don't like it. It's scary because it didn't exist when I was a baby, and that's the only good things that we're allowed to have is things that were around when I was a kid. But, uh, doesn't necessarily make for a bad story. There's, I've enjoyed multiple stories with that general premise, you know, like Portal. I do think that Portal nailed it well enough that a lot of vagrant AI um, or like evil AI stories don't need to exist. What I really like about Dot Hack is that the vagrant AI aren't really just trying to kill everybody. Um, they do have some bad effects, you know, people go into comas and stuff, but they have their own motivations and it's really interesting. And I always found that much cooler than, yeah, the AI. It, it learned too much about people and thinks people are bad, now it's gonna kill the people to make the people happy because the people don't like bad people. It's, it's dumb, you know. The, the the real way an AI would malfunction is like 3D printing 500 images of butts or something. You know, we we have we have a lot of evidence that indicates the ways that AI may go wrong, and it will probably be really freaking stupid more so than extremely malicious. This is awesome. My dad said this new technology will keep bad things from happening. Now, if someone is mean to me, he will be punished. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, child, but Twitter is a thing, and we know that that is not true. You know me is so cool. Come closer to me. Oh, it seems I knew this was a bad idea. Don't worry. I am Inomia. I am a part of you, and you are a part of me. I can see their darkest secrets. I can see their brightest hopes. I am everywhere. I will keep us safe. Despite it just being kind of like drawn over everything else, that is actually a pretty cool effect with its eye there. That is my purpose. Will we meet again? We'll meet again. I got a Chivo for that. Oh, weird. This game started capturing right. This game wasn't... Oh wait, no, that... was that a different game? I was having trouble capturing a game, so I had to use... Um monitor capture mode instead of game capture. And that's generally not the ideal way to capture things. What is this? It's just garbage out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well, that was social. Um, huh. I was not expecting like any degree of openness, honestly, so I'm a little confused. Oh, it's Mr. Securotron. How you doing, my man? Rumor go, is everything all right? How did you, whoa. You found out about the home worlds yet? Most houses are locked. But I think with your superpowers, you'll be able to enter some of them. Some may be very high up, but very far away. What is that? Of course, you can visit the ones you already found. Was I helpful? Talk to me later. You need me to care. You need you to care. Okay, it's very creepy when, you, when that happens while you're talking. I still love the ads. They're amazing. Why is the world like when dot in dot hack when that happens bad shit is gonna go down oh, Hyperion University Oh man, I hear these guys make great sniper rifles. If you think that our university is very impressive You should see the Zeus Universal library first people in Zeus like to show their wealth So they built the university as a replica of Louis Louis the 14th Chateau de Versailles I'd like to visit it someday. Ah oh, frick. I did the thing again. I should just wait. Did I just get a thing? Oh, I'm fixing your things! I'm in your base fixing your dudes! But why is this broken? 
dig these the aesthetics of this game. I need to play Bound. I not tonight though. I need I need my voice back. I will not have a voice after today. I'm sorry to say. Tomorrow morning is gonna suck. I already know that. But whatever. Do you know about the delay effect? In the physical world, all you see is delayed by a micro fraction of a second. Ah, oh, frick! A virtual world is delayed by the transfer speed between a server and the client. Doesn't matter where you are, you're always seeing a version of the past. What a funny thought. I don't know what I fixed. Oh, I fixed a data thing! I exploded! I, that, that is such a good button. Just the best button. A homeworld server is a small module that anyone can install at home or rent from cloud services. People can create a living, a virtual living room that other people connect to. It's freaking PlayStation Home. In the network, your avatar represents your personality. You know what's weird? I actually met people on PlayStation Home, and for a while, or no, did I meet them? I. Hmm. Well, there's a couple of people. I think I met them actually through. Um, Burnout Paradise. That that game was great. The the freaking that game had the chillest online community ever, and I really miss it. I, I usually hate online gaming stuff because everyone is a freaking jackhole and everyone's like, your mom, and everyone's like twelve. But like everyone was just super chill, just playing a game, just gonna have fun. Everybody's talking. Uh, even though it was a competitive sort of game, it wasn't like, you know, gotta kill everybody, do crazy stuff. I guess maybe because it was more of an open game and just having fun was more about it than, you know, winning. But I miss that community. That was that was great stuff. Is Forza Horizon like that? I haven't I haven't really I only have a 360 and I've been meaning to get Horizon 2 at some point. But actually is Horizon isn't one of those on PC? Is it is an okay version? Is the community that cool though? Because like that's what I really loved about her or Burnout Paradise, even more so than the gameplay. The gameplay was really good though. I know a lot of people don't like it because it went open world, but uh, I really enjoyed it and it was just cool people, cool vibes. There's way too few online games that have good vibes. Um, I would like to see that corrected, but I don't really. I try. I still avoid online stuff because. For me, it's not really worth the risk. How your avatar looks depends on your personal wealth because body parts are sold in a pricey store. To the high market value of these body parts, most people go for the default look. See, this this seems rather silly because I mean, you know, digital stuff. I guess if everything was completely proprietary, I guess you could do this in the way that like a mobile game does things, where you know the good stuff just is pricey even though it's digital, but. It just it seems a little far-fetched. Those with higher income can afford homeworld service have enough space for a complete house. The wealthy Zeus cluster is known for beautiful homeworlds of all sorts of creative elements. Carol Finn, about homeworlds. So I just fixed a bit of data, I guess. And I guess back out here. So I want to... It seems... I figured that it was like the whole chapter... When, when you go into this menu, oh, killed myself again. Such a good button. Every button, every game should have that button. Where, where am I? Uh, why does it do that? Is something broken in here? That's ominous. But yeah, when it said memory pieces left in this area, I figured it meant like this whole the world, so to speak, like the whole chapter. But it apparently, it just means the local area, which makes sense. But I want to see. Okay, there was one in here. Okay. We gotta get the memory feast then. Also, I think I need to close Chrome again. Something seat in CPU. This gate. Oh, wait, is it because I have monitor capture too? Oh, wait. Oh, it's because. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I was redundantly recording, and I think that was giving me some performance issues. Not really the sort of game where that's a major problem, but I like to have the best recordings I can. Um. Oh no, do I have to climb?
climb these. I was trying to climb these before. I thought maybe there'd be a sneaker up there. I think it must be up there because I can't see anything else. Alright, this is gonna suck. Okay. Oh, I bet it's up here. Okay, that wasn't really that bad. Eh. What are you? What is this? What is this garbage? Whoa! Space? Why, why did we go to space? But I didn't go all the way to space. No, I want to go all the way into space. What is this? Do I not? Am I missing upgrades? Because I can't. I figured I would get a memory thing. I don't see a memory thing. I don't know how the draw distance would display one. Like, I don't know if I just have to... I'm not close enough to one? Yeah, I'm not seeing... a memory fragment. I figured for sure that thing would launch me up to it. When it as soon as it launched me, like... I figured, isn't that the point? But apparently not? Wait, maybe it's over here? Or is this where I came from? I don't know what this is. Look, you just land on your freaking face. Ah, uh, what's this? I love that they opened up a company building in Hyperion. For a long time, we only had our home worlds, and most of them aren't as professional or as open. Coming here for some sightseeing is quite unwinding. kind of ascribe some limits to digital stuff that seem a little artificial and not in like artificially not artificial like it's weird like most of the some of these things shouldn't really be problems yeah I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the thing I mean part of it's just me being a jerk and not suspending my disbelief but uh Where, where, where's the data? I want the data thing. I don't get it. Hmm. Wait, what's this? What's this pillar? I didn't notice this pillar. Oh, no, this is just there. Eh, it's not the end of the world, I guess. So where's a th another area to get to then? We've been there. I think there was a portal. Way over this wise. What is that? Nah, it's just stuff. There was a portal in this general direction. I like that fart instrument. That's a good instrument. I don't think... I don't think I'm in fact going anywhere. I think I'm just doing stupid things. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything this way. I just want to find the exit and then... Ow. Also not entirely sure how checkpoints work in this game. We went to those two things. Things could have been worse at this point. I kind of like trust Securotron. Well, Securotron, do you have any new info? You look pale. Is everything all right? Do you need me to care? Maybe you are tired. I'm very tired. And it will go away? Is that a hint, Securotron? Or... Where do I go, Securotron? You're supposed to help me. You're not supposed to give me cryptic advice. 
Just give me the regular advice. Skip the cryptic part. Maybe if we go back up there. I don't know. These only these seem like my only two leads, and I've been to both of them. Unless there is. Can I even get back up there? Oh goodness. I don't know how to get back up there. Huh. Yeah, at this point I'm pretty lost. I'm just gonna explode. Hmm. Securotron, why won't you help me? I don't see any- uh, there's the exit I saw. Alright, maybe I can get there. I just lost. Maybe I was on the other side. I think I can get there. If I, as long as I could stand on these houses. These tiny little weird houses. No! I don't seem to be able to consistently stand on them. It seems like the peak is the most reliable place to be on. But uh, sometimes you just slide, and it is extremely frustrating. Uh, uh, come on! Wait! Oh wait! 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 I'm stupid. It's the air. It's the dash jump, isn't it? I'm supposed to do the dash jump to get back up here. Okay. Crisis possibly averted. Assuming this works. I saw a teleporter up here. So I guess it's just a big thing to explore now at this point, which is not a bad change of pace. Like I said, a bit more interesting than wandering around 3D puzzle land. Homeworld of Ren. Oh, so this is like a single person's homeworld? It's just a tiny one, I guess. What is this? Oh, they're emotionally blocking me in. I bet I can just, yeah, I can just go over that. Where's your secrets, Ren? I want your secrets. Oh, there's memory pieces in, oh! There's secret bots, or security bots, or whatever's. What's this? Got a checkpoint. Oh, it's not small, it's just all broken. I thought that first area was like all there was. This is interesting. Oh no. Is that a bad? That's a bad thing. Okay. Wow, you can go really freaking high with that. What's up, buddy? Incredible. How did you manage to do that? You just bypassed my firewall. It took ages to build, and I thought no one would be able to enter my homeworld now. But here you are. I don't know if I should be worried or impressed. I see. You're artificial. I'm able to pull off some interesting tricks. I haven't seen anyone flying around like that in a long time. You're coming from Kronos, you say? That's incredible. There's no tracing data attached to your entity. Someone must have cloaked your visibility with something irregular. Bearer of secrets, aren't you? Where's the thing? Oh, it's here. Oh, they're 2D from certain angles. That's a little annoying. Will I ever make it? <laughs> Sneezed. <clears throat> Will my project always be flawed as long as I keep wanting to interpret AI as something equal to humanity? Aw, oh, this thing again. After all these years of astonishing progress, I still can't know for sure if my work will produce anything remotely similar to what I expected to create. I should have expected that AI will always be different from humanity. It isn't supposed to be designed as a human replacement, but designed as a form of life that serves its very own purpose. Will there ever be a general understanding on how AI should look like or sound? A common concept for AI behavior? That's how we see the world, in simple patterns. Yes, AI can be anything. Amorph in every aspect. And here I am, trying to create a human AI. 
doing a mistake despite better knowledge. Just plain stupid. I'm an idiot. Am I? Eh, sounds reasonably stupid. You have more dialogue? I would like to know more about your story. You're coming from the fucking I am? Are you kidding me? A rogue AI that's been captured from the I am. That sounds crazy. Why am I telling her this? They have like the biggest security mechanics of them all. Everything inside the network is under their watch. Now I understand why someone should cloak your identity. entity. They're searching for you? I can imagine that. You're quite a special woman. Oh man, so much words. 50 years? So you're as old as the network itself. The I am claims to create the network, but some information says otherwise. I found a memory fragment? I heard about them. They're scattered recordings that appear to be as old as you are. I've only seen one of them so far and couldn't make out what it wanted to tell me. Maybe you can get the full picture someday. So they cleaned your memory database. That's such a cruel thing to do to someone. I don't care if you're an AI, things like that are unacceptable. I locked myself in here because I don't want the I am to sniff in on my communication. It's become nearly impossible to communicate inside the network without being exposed to their eyes. Especially with the introdu introduction of Enumia. I'm scared they'll find me and delete my memory database. Oh? I'm not artificial. I got myself a brain pod. That's the closest thing you can get to transform yourself into an AI without losing your soul. Or whatever it is that connects to your initial existence. use the brain pod. I'll put my brain pod in a hidden place. If the I am could catch my avatar, they could be able to find my brain too. They could delete everything I know and transform me to an advertisement zombie if they wanted to. Shit, that's pretty bleak. Network wasn't meant to be controlled by a single company. All I know is that it initially began as an open source project with high hopes. I guess that's why they do the whole microtransaction thing. People began to build homeworlds in the hubs. Someday the government introduced proprietary security mechanisms to the network. No one was able to connect to it without using the restrictive software provided. Maybe there are still smaller open source networks out there. If you want to help people inside the big network hide for the persecution, you have to be here. That's why I'm not trapped inside the big network. It's the price you pay for helping people. So yeah, things definitely got dark. Connected. I would love to chat with you for ages. After looking at my home world, after locking my home world that much, things have become quite lonely here. We are anonymous, but my name is Ren. You think that Fumiko is your real name? It sounds familiar somehow. Couldn't resist attaching a small connection module to your avatar. Doesn't do much, but when you're in the need of help, I'll get a message. Maybe I can help you out someday. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you'll find answers soon. Don't be a stranger, Fumiko. Well, that was very revealing. Where does this go? I think that's enough Fumiko for today. But, uh... We're definitely getting somewhere. It's interesting. Uh, this place get more sinister? Fumiko? This is really bad. The cloaking device failed. Immunia is after you. We underestimated how insane Wilson and the AI can be. The AI am can be. They're trying to cut off your connection to the network. To isolate you. You cannot stay here. They'll destroy everything to put you in a cage. Find a way to escape. I... Oh dang. Sorry to do such a cliffhanger. But yeah. The cliffhanger. There we go. Well, next time, we gotta run for our freaking lives. So that's fun.